peace peace power soul and activation this is the next nuclear radio show i am your host zireus razus anuclear leader amongst other leaders and host here on the next nuclear radio show and unonc vegetarians moving forward um again this is the next nuclear radio show i am your host zireus razus anuclear leader amongst other leaders and host here in the united nation of next nuclear vegetarians um Moving forward, again, we are live on pod, being, we're live on pod, being, bringing forth next intelligence, this extended activation of intelligence that's going to move the planet forward, um, and again, raising up to 200 rising, um, ones walking the ones, the right ones in this time, um, that are going to ultimately, um, move this planet forward. Because again, we're not bullshitting anybody. We're bringing forth, um, raw and uncut intelligence. And this is, this is what's going to ultimately, um, Activate the right ones, activate those necessary ones to come over here or to come into the council to begin counseling and moving the planet forward. Again, we counseling within ourselves. Us, you know, again, we purge a lot of the, the humanists and um, humanitarians, those uh, mindsets and views and thought processes of what you say, primitive uh, creations, creations that are primitive or those people, those creations that are called humans. Humans, humans are creations. As opposed to us being um, of the extended um, activation of energies that, again, there is no origin. We have no origin for where our soul really comes from. It's continuous. It's always been here. It's been continuous for for eons and eons and eons moving forth. Um, like I said, you know, we're, we're tapping into this next intelligence that's ultimately going to, again, um, activate people to, you know, move forward or again like we always say like i've always said either you can be extended by the next intelligence or you're ultimately going to be um expended or expelled so you can be extended or you can be expelled or expended um you know from you know being you know able to uh tap in and what you say evolve to that next level that we've tapped into or we've been able to evolve into as a collective, we as a solar activated council, we as a solar activated council moving forward in these times. So again, we're going to keep uh, pushing forward. Um, again, we are going live. Um, I'm live out here in Paradise, Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, time is currently 634, 634 p.m. PST, 834 p.m. CST. So again, you know, we're live back on pod being, you know, bringing forth on um, this next intelligence. And again, you know, we've been sitting back for a while. We've been sitting back in the cut for the last several years. Say for me, four years, four to five years, I've been sitting back and ultimately, you know, again, immersing myself, um, what you say, into what they call this uh, illusion called the matrix. And again, you know, the more that we begin to, you know, see past that, because at one time, again, like I said, I, I immersed my mind into the so-called uh, this, this, well, all of us have. Basically, you know, we were born into this. So ultimately, you know, moving um, past all of that, you know, there were signs earlier on, you know, when I was growing up that I was not from this place, that I'm not from here. And again, you know, my my thought process, the way I seen the world, a lot of experiences that I had, you know, growing up, let me know that I am not from this time period. I am not uh, what you say of the created. Again, we are not of the created, us activated golden beings. We are of the um, what you say the well we're the we're the the activators we activated creations or we created creations we we made creations um basically out of our advanced intelligence that ultimately um what we're doing fast forward up until now prior to you know that particular point of initial creations we are way 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 more advanced than a lot of people are giving us credit for they're calling us primitive we're trying to associate again a lot of the uh, 3D advanced beings with these upper dimensional intelligent beings that we know ourselves to be. So, moving for um right now I'm currently sharing this on Facebook and all over. Um now going live, tapping in. Um, yeah, because at this time you know only the real ones want to you know bring forth what they have very diverse intelligence and bring that to the table and move things forward because diversity diversity is what ultimately diversity intelligence diversity in the intelligence was ultimately is you know again you know going to build up to our topic tonight so yeah now i'm sharing this all over um yep because again diversity and collectivity is ultimately what 
will move things forward. Like I said, the ones coming to the table, the ones accepting their roles as extended council members, being of the solar activated council, being these activated light projectors, being these activated light projections or these activated uh, ray projections coming down to the planet and activating um, the necessary people that are of that same um, activation of ray energy. Again, that's soul energy. So, um, again, we're going to keep moving forward and, again, keep touching on what you say, the intelligence aspect, focusing on the power, the power within the mind. And when we're constantly processing these organic rays, our minds are only becoming more um, evolved or advanced, being able to pull in this extended intelligence from the, uh, what you say, ultimately from these upper and outer dimensions while we're constantly um again our future selves our higher our highest selves in this earth dimension are basically pulling from the 14th dimension and they're they're basically being in the 13th dimension being able to again and that all of that intelligence is, is being bottlenecked down to this plane this past present plane where we are in live time receiving and pulling in intelligence you know there is no there is no making anything up there is, this, this is all what you say what is to come, you know, for our future bloodlines, they're going to be able to receive and pull in more intelligence. They're not going to be able, they're not going to focus on, well, by the time we move into that higher advanced state, you know, we would, we would have gotten rid of all the mental transmissions because again, our future bloodlines are not going to omni stand and mega stand what TikTok and all of these other YouTube and other platforms are because again, they're not, they're not going to be of the nonsense. They're going to be a purpose and be of future advanced intelligence, not focusing on, again, the primitive uh, ways of, again, humanities and all that. that. That's all obsolete. That's why we're talking about, again, moving past information and tapping into the intelligence, a.k.a. the activation of rays coming down and, again, evolving our minds as a collective council, sort of activated council, us being the sort of activated council moving forward. So, uh, yes, right now I'm sharing this to YouTube, <laughs> you know. Because, look, once we get started, it's like you can't stop the intel. Once we begin to fully, you know, open up the box, they say, hey, don't open up Pandora. So we're, we're the ones opening up Pandora's box, a.k.a. that gateway, us being the ones walking with ones, walking with ones, 1111. The 1111 are basically opening up the gateway for this advanced intel to come down. And, again, we're being permeated in intelligence. We're being permeated in radiance, being permeated intelligence and radiance that is evolving us into these um, future beings in the past. We are future thinking beings in the past. We are future thinking and future living beings caught in the past. And we are breaking out of the past by way of our alignment to a connection with our higher selves and us being pulled forward. That lifeline, again, our souls came back down. Our future souls acted as that lifeline, which activated our past vessels. And again, we began to think forward, move forward, live forward, act forward. Ultimately, you know, the motion of evolution is forward growth, forward thinking. For, you know, your, your observation on life is ultimately, again, your, your progressive, we're progressive energy. We're not supposed to be stagnant and conservative. We're not supposed to be conservative. We're, we're, we're supposed to be progressive. Progressive means that you're moving forward. That's why, again, when they, again, even being in the system, a lot of so-called, uh, black people, aka golden people, you know, ultimately, um, they would consider themselves, they were considered conservatives because again, you know, again, going with the flow and everything else, you know, we, we move past being stagnant. When you call yourself conservative, you're basically afraid to grow. You want to keep your old traditions. You want to keep your, keep the same old information in circulation and not move forward into higher thinking, into advanced thinking. That, that, that shows you who are the so-called uh, gatekeepers. We call them golden gatekeepers. Golden gatekeepers. Those are the ones who are holding back the intel and are stopping you from being able to tap in, stopping you from being able to tap, tap into the intelligence. They're trying to stop you from being able to, again, open your minds to the next tale. That's why, again, you got these teachers who, again, are on the 10 frequency. They're, they're, again, they are ones who are supposed to be over here with us, but they're ones manipulating zeros. Again, one and zero equals 10. You know, bringing together, that's, that's 10 right there. So they're, they're ultimately, again, a part of that 3D uh, algorithm of 10101010, as opposed to us being able to write next now, be able to overwrite the formula overwrite and um would you say format that old 
um, algorithm dealing with the fourth format again with one, 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 one. That's, that's once walking with ones, walking with ones. So, um, yes, we are extended on uh, mind, body, and soul. Um, and we're going, to, we're going to keep again talking about again moving forward. What's next? These next conversations again by way of the next weekly radio show. Um, again, bringing forth next weekly ideas and conversations. Um, let's go. It's time to what you say. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep extending your mind forward. That's ultimately what we have to keep doing. Keep extending our minds and keep, again, like I uh, was talking to one of the vegetarians. I just told him basically persistence and, um, you know, basically self-discipline. Being self-disciplined and being persistent and keep on, you know, being hungry and keep on going in. Basically, non-stop. You know, you can't stop because we have to keep on self-activating us. We have to keep on self-activating our minds. Um, you know, again, ourselves ultimately, because in the future we're not going to have any other help because we're on the top. We're the pinnacle. There is no help in the top. The top is always moving forward and extending. So again, you know, we're going to keep moving forward and growing. So um, as I go on to again speak on today's topic. And we're going to keep moving and keep going um, and again, keeping our minds open to the next intelligence, keeping our minds open to the next intelligence. So, um, yes, um, today's topic is um, synchronized intelligence, 1111. Meet your mic, brother. Um, yeah. So, again, today's topic is synchronized intelligence um, moving forward as we begin to uh talked about solar G for one solar G is the uh, conglomerate or the collectivity of what you say activated souls coming together and again causing what you say these energy shifts on the planet but again causing the planet to speed up because of our energy um, is beginning to what you say cause a lot of what you say um, celestial events you know again as far as we talked about the moon being pushed away further and further because again the true uh, activated ones are coming together and again pushing out and amplifying a stronger magnetic field than what the moon is pushing out so the more that we come together like I said our solar G is a next magnetic push or a force that's being amplified and again it's being felt all over the planet that's why certain people can't take it that's why again Synchronized intelligence, the more that we come together, like I said, we have diverse intelligence. You know, our minds are not, you know, we don't think alike, but we're on the same frequency. We can tap in and extend off one another. Again, that's, 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 that's excuse me, but, but we always say once walking with once walking with once because that's ultimately what is, you know, truly how we are able to extend because we know that our souls can keep on what you say feeding off one another or that same energy can keep on basically, um, Keep on feeding and extending uh, what you say further past than what a lot of people, you know, what they are in groups or communities now. Again, a lot of them are not based on the future things to come. And that's, again, the growth, evolution and, again, extension of the mind, body and souls of the activated um, ones or activated golden beings. Again, we're not we're not regulars or regular golden people where we're activated golden beings that have, you know, again, come to the table and we're bringing forth um, again what we're able to channel. And what we're, what we're able to pull in in these days. So, um, again, today I have brother AF1 with me. Um, again, his channel on YouTube is Vegetarian's Activation Channel. Again, Vegetarian's Activation Channel. So again, you know, we're again by way of synchronized intel bringing forth these messages by way of how we're able to channel and pull in. And again, it being diverse, it being synchronized, but it ultimately is feeding off one another. It's synchronized. And again, it's driving the point home. Collectivity will always um overrule being an individual collectivity will always overrule being in um being an individual or thinking on that individual mindset as far as you know that you can you know move the planet forward by yourself but you're the only receiver on the planet you know people who have that egotistical mindset have to get sat down by way of synchronized intelligence they have to be sat down because again logic and rationale is always going to basically you know Slap them in the face when it comes to bringing, moving the planet forward. When it came to creating the planet, everything, you know, it, it was as above, so below. There were a 
collectives of being there were a group of beings that came down here and again a group of intelligence that came down here and ultimately made this planet it wasn't just one person it wasn't just a god it wasn't no it, it, it was a it was a group of beings that were highly intelligent they were highly advanced in thinking highly advanced and again you know being able to see the future or ultimately be of the future because again you know that's that's how things um again have come down to where we're at right now we've been able to catch back up we caught back up and now we're the ones leaving this past world we're the ones again walking outside of the past world by way of how synchronized intelligence is coming by way of us our individual you know um channels but ultimately how we're able to channel you know differently but ultimately it just, just because it's different doesn't mean that again we're not talking about the same thing you know everything as far as you know it being synchronized and it being on point and it and it having that same effect as far as you know activating others or inspiring others that's where it all you know it all boils down to or it all comes up to us as these activated beings moving forward because our energy is only going to um, keep on either extending or expanding people that can't comprehend what's going on on this planet the ones to keep on you know keep they keep they want to what you say uh push the focus on different things other than you know again your evolution of the mind body and soul or again you know again us coming together and evolving by way of the the council us coming together by way of counseling so um yes that's why in these times you know the council had to come and again push things forward because again we're not stagnant we're not stagnant that's why we we couldn't be stagnant that's why like i said before earlier on you know i even knew when I was younger, I was different. I was different from most people because my mind, you know, was just on a whole different level. And, and even now, you know, being, being, you know, being able to extend further and further, um, on the intelligence, um, chain pretty much because we're the highest on the, um, intel chain as far as being able to, you know, again, focus, um, our minds and channel outside the box or outside of the third dimensional realm, outside of the 3D algorithms as far as how people want you to think or how people are, you know, viewed as using their, their minds here on this planet. You know, people here are, are so primitive and so behind. That's why, again, you know, being, being an individual doesn't make any sense as far as, you know, again, trying to accomplish what, what we want to accomplish, which is moving again, our souls into the next dimension. Again, that, that takes a lot of intelligence. Like I said, it takes self-discipline. It takes, uh, what you say, persistence to, you know, truly keep moving on that one frequency and keep truly seeing, um, how purposeful coming together in this council it really is. So, um, but, but if one, whenever you want to, you can come in and chime in. But yeah, moving forward, um, this is the next week radio show bringing forth next week clear ideas and conversations, um, by way of, you know, again, so sort of activated council. Peace, power, and soul. Peace, power, and soul, everybody out there. Uh, you spoke on individuals. Yeah. When you go, I'm kind of tired right now, but you know, it, it, it don't stop sleepy or not, but dealing with individuals in what's that? That's inner D. What's that? Anytime you see that D E that, that, that's a lower chakra in individuals, D demented because when they're by themselves, when they're by a lot of people that's individuals, when they're by themselves and they're always want to be by themselves. And then when they, what happens when they go, to a uh, um, gathering or something, they're looking to be what stimulated, right? So that's what individuals do. They look to be stimulated and they go back by themselves because they know that in the long run, they really don't serve a futuristic purpose. And I'm just going to say it's sad, but that's just the majority of the mass people that's on the planet. In D, going back to demented state, going back to the, the, the uh, demented state. See these individuals out here. They want to, if you want to exist and just live your life, that's fine, whatever floats your boat. But you always got to know that if you're, if you, especially if you're at the woke stage, conscious stage, I don't really say religion too much because if you're still, if, if you 30, 40, 50 years old and you're still thinking that, um, you know, 200 million uh, chariots is going to come out the sky and save you, that's whatever floats your boat, but that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. The individual mind frame. That's why when you're dealing with, I always use, um, uh, just look at the world in general. Look at the world in general. When I, this is why we call ourselves the council, because we understand ones walking with ones. We mega stand ones walking with ones. Look, look, look at everything in the world. 
Because I always got to put everything down in a 3D reality for y'all so y'all can try to at least even trigger some of your neurotransmitters or trigger your junk DNA to get you thinking past what you've been taught and what you've been Google Googling on Siri and Alexa. So thinking past everything that you've been taught. Go back. Okay, this is what this is why we stress ones walking with ones. Going to the three D realm. When you have a situation at hand, right? Now I'm not talking about if it's chaos and confusion when it's just everybody's all for, you know, getting everything situated, talking about the citizens. Now when you have this is why we say ones walk with ones. When you have a situation, all right, you got a situation, somebody's in a household, right? They got people hostage in there. They got people hostage in that house. So Somebody leaves the house, they call the police, and they're like, oh, there, this guy, he has three people hostage up in there. What, what, they gotta activate who? The SWAT team. They're not finna go, the SWAT, okay, they're not finna go get the next door neighbor, the dude down the street that you like, or the chick down the street that you like. They're finna activate the SWAT team. What is a SWAT team? I'm using this as, it, as an example, that's that's the SWAT ones walking with the ones. They're going to go get the SWAT. They're not going to go get the guy down the street and his and his and his uh, friends that have been sitting in the garage drinking. Even though they got guns, they're not going to go get them to situate the situation dealing with a hostage situation. They're going to go get the SWAT team. That's why we stress counsel so much because this whole world is based on that. This whole world is based on putting everything, getting everything to keep moving in order, right? If you got a situation, um, if you got, okay, because I always got to go back. I always got to, you know, because I was talking to Zarea. She was like, man, don't dumb it down. Don't dumb it down. But when you're dealing with Intel, you can a little bit because I want to give you guys an example because there's ones out here, but they ain't over here. If you have, if you have, the United States basketball team. Now they're going to the Olympics. The United States basketball team is going to the Olympics, right? Right. Going back to the topic, synchronized. United States basketball, I mean, not the United States, the USA is going to the Olympics to play basketball. Who are they going to get? They're going to get the top ones. They're not going to go, they're not going to go send, uh, College players that have been playing on a bench their whole college career and go play against these other, these other, uh, elite basketball players. They're going to get the top ones. Everything has been put in your face. This is real simple. It doesn't take trigonometry to figure this out. That's why it's so sad when we was talking about, um, the ones that's out here and they always got to be catered to by the zeros and, you know, manipulate zeros, this and that. It's the same thing dealing with going to go back to the Avengers. I always use them as an example. When you're dealing with the, the superheroes from the Avengers, they're not finna go. If if uh, a world tragedy happened where uh, um a uh, uh, so-called bad guy pops up, he's very powerful. Are, are, are the Avengers gonna go get the citizens to go help him when their guns and their tanks and stuff ain't working? No, they're gonna go get the ones that are on their level. And see, this is, and see, this is what's going on because we're giving, we're giving these ones out here the solution and they, and they, they ain't going to accept it. You know why? Because they faded away in the future somewhere. They faded away in the, in the future somewhere. Now we back from the future and telling everybody that this is how it is. This is how when you're dealing with the golden race and you know, the shootings and all that stuff, because it's only a certain a branch of us that's going to branch off and actually move into the future. Because the, 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 the way that society is dealing with, um, you know, the Greco Roman priests and all that stuff that actually have put everything out here, the structure, the system, the system. Now everything's being, the veil's being pulled off of everything. There is no more excuses out here. So when somebody gives you an excuse and they go, especially when they heard these videos, if you heard these videos and you still talking about, um, um, you still talking about the white man, you still talking about slavery, you still talking about uh, uh reparations, you still talking about 
diets, on what you can eat, this and that, all that stuff ain't, it's not going to move you to the future. That's your own personal uh, individual mindset that you, that you have feel going back to mental illness to make you feel comfortable when you, cause when, that's the thing, Zarez, when people hear these videos, there is no more excuses. There ain't, there is no, that's the, that's the most beautiful thing about being a Fugitarian, man. And shout out to all the Fugitarians out there because we know, we know, man, there is literally nothing else out here on this planet. There's not because what we're saying makes sense. But what, what we're, what are we backing it up with? We're backing it up with Intel. That is, I'm just going to say the word facts. That is facts. Back, backing it up with Intel. So the 1111, the two portals, they're open. They've been open. Look up, go, 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 go into the cities, go into the cities, even sometimes in the suburbs, but go into the cities, Mr. man, Mike, and really I'm focus. You said what now? Oh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, Cosmos, uh, mute your mic. I'll oh, mute. Okay, sorry. Yeah, lower right hand corner. All right. So everybody, look, look up, look up in the sky. Actually, look, man, what's going on? You're dealing with, you're dealing with um, multiple UFOs, but we don't focus on UFOs and all that stuff. I'm just using this as an example because we know that they're out there. Multiple UFOs. You got um, <clears throat> air traffic. Multiple air traffic. All these, all these people are running around like chickens with their head cut off. Cut off. Why is that? Why is they running around like chickens with their head cut off? Go to, go, go into the metro area, and then all of a sudden there's some stuff that just like happens, and then all of a sudden there's security everywhere around us. Why is this happening? There's always going to be a reason why. You know what I'm saying? The ones walking with the ones. Going back to the topic, synchronized intel. Synchronized intel, going back to the topic, st- staying, staying in tune, staying on that frequency, that one path, that one passage. What do they call it? in the Bible? They call them what passages and, uh, but the one passage, there is not multiple passages. There's only one. And going back, um, me and one of the Fugitarians was talking about going back, uh, listening to this one teacher and it's this, the, the crazy part of everything that was what's going on, when they hear this message, they still want to talk about uh, Jesus Christ. They still want to talk about the Messiah. They still want to talk about demons, um, um, angels, uh, you know, gumbo pot, mixing in their gumbo pot. They're trying to take because the sad, the sad part is a lot of these teachers cannot just let go of everything. They always have to pull something back from the past. Like acknowledging your ancestors and then focusing on your ascendants are two different things. Then focus, focusing on your um, ancestors and acknowledging your ascendants is two different path links. It's two different pathways. That's why there's only one pathway. The only the only two pathways is dealing with the 11. The 11, 11, the two dots in the middle is the portals. The ones in the future, they're going to always come back through those portals. Look at the dead zones that's going. Look at all the dead zones on the planet. Why? Why would the planet even have dead zones where electricity don't work? Think about that for a minute. Why would they have dead zones on the planet where electricity don't work? You think that was random? You think that it was just like, oh, dude, electricity can work here, but it can't work here. No. See, we back from the future, so we putting everything on the forefront. You know, can no philosopher, no philosopher, no um, no scientist, no professor or anything argue with us about that? Because they know, but when they, when they've been taught and they they they're on their their mission on the planet is to keep that hamster wheel mind frame going. That's why every time you got somebody that comes into college and they start going past what the professor teaches, what do they do? They put them on mute. Put them on pause. Because what does it make the teacher? It makes the teacher and the professor look like they don't know what they're talking about. So they put you on mute. And then what they call, they say, uh, that student, that student is, um, um, special. 
Oh, he's special. See that that's a cold word right there. That cold that the special word of of, of that word special dealing with people and, and saying that, that goes a long way back. Oh yeah, that that yeah, he's special, you know. Cause they're telling you that you're more than what they're teaching, but they say special because it, it's, it's a cold word. It's what they're pushing. So going back to, uh, synchronized intel, everybody being on one accord, working down as a council movement and you put your minds together and you keep stuff moving forward. And then as that, as that keeps moving forward, the intel is going to keep moving forward. That's why when you deal with these, the, uh, these teachers that's out here and you know, they're trying, but the sad part is when they hear the intel and they hear the futuritarians, they put it in a gumbo pot, but they don't go 110 percent. Nope, they never go, you know, to that 111 percent or we'll say 110 percent because a lot of people won't understand, like, you know, what we're talking about, talking about, you know, again, not associating ourselves with zeros. But again, once walking, once walking with ones, you know. It, it should make sense by now why synchronized intel is necessary to move forward to the future because we've tried other ways. There's no other fucking way. Like, come like, come on now. People, people have to like, it's, it's not, uh, hardening, but it's, it's irritating to have to like be around people and keep having to like explain, okay, you're talking about, you know, you were watching our videos, but it's like, okay, what are we doing to move the problem forward? Do you want to come over here and build or do you want to ridicule and, you know, be hate on, on, on a fucking sideline? Because most people get mad at, you know, again, people are still caught up in the ego and their pride. So, you know, when it comes to really coming to the table, could you move your microphone, please? So ultimately, yeah, um, moving forward, we're going to keep, um, like I was saying, extending the mind body cells of our people. But again, you know, realizing that and we're going to keep telling them, hey, counseling is the only way because we, we have to keep, you know, again, counseling or coming together as these activated souls to, you know, again, purge away a lot of the say of uh, the humanist ideas, which we already have. But, you know, in order to, you know, see yourself moving forward or coming into, would you say, uh, that conglomerate of a collective council or actually coming together and again, utilizing and seeing the, the power of synchronized intel. Again, you have to let go of what you believe in because we don't believe anymore. People of the future don't believe. They know. They definitively, they definitively know what's next or what they're going to do next or what ultimately, you know, by doing what they do could cause a chain reaction or, you know, they know, you know, what their actions, you know, and again, how purposeful they are by way of their actions are in the future. So again, there, there isn't no second guessing or doubting, you know, the power of the extended activated council or these extended mind, body, and soul. So again, you know, we have, uh, again, it's brother AF1. Um, again, check him out on his channel, vegetarian activation channel. And we also have brother Cosmo here on the panel. Um, so, Again, um, I'll give it to you in a couple minutes, brother, um, Cosmo, if you want to add anything. So ultimately, again, you know, we're talking about, um, synchronized intel because again, you know, we're all the ones walking with ones, walking with ones because again, in this time, you know, again, we have to stand out. We don't want to be associated with all of them, all of that madness that's going on right now, all of that chaos going on right now because again, we've ultimately, uh, seen that again, that's not of the future. If you're caught up in all of that madness and all that, all, all that stuff that would, that would keep you mentally looped being a part of the meta, then again, you know, we realized that again, moving forward w was the only way to again have a bit of peace of mind before we can actually ascend into the upper dimensions where we have true peace and true, ev and true evolutionary satisfaction and not have to worry about having to be in the physical world of this past world anymore because again, this is starting to, it's, it's very played out, very, you know, stagnant. As a you know, when it comes to you know having to get a people or get a planet for you know, there, there's there's so many uh things that again, if it wasn't for us being who we were, being strong-minded individuals um at one point, and then ultimately seeing that, okay, yes, we are strong as as individuals, but we're also more powerful coming together, and ultimately utilizing that synchronized intel. So once we realize that, that's when things start to move forward for us on our individual journeys, and then coming together, you know, this this energy has really shifted the planet for even faster. That's why I said before, we, we came together by way of our synchronized intel and our souls created Sotogy. Sotogy by way of our souls coming together and it's pushed forth a next magnetic force. Again, our Sotogy coming together has created a next magnetic force that has, what you say, pushed the moon further away and which is basically speeding the planet forward faster. And the sun is going to actually be coming, um, pushing out more intense energy and rays coming down to the planet. So, um, again, um, here we are. With the next nuclear radio show bringing forth next nuclear ideas and conversations to move the planet forward and again the activated um, council 
and it'll be 200 rising the ones walking once walking once so uh, we have brother cosmo um, if you want to um chime in go ahead brother cosmo um so yes um, we are here uh, to bring forth this extended activation um and bring forth what you say the voices because right now we are the voices of reason for a lot of people or a lot of teachers who are on the sideline watching the videos but don't want to come over here and, and build and move the planet forward so again you know this is how we know it's real because again our influence has caused a lot of shifts to take place whether it be on social media or whether it be in our areas i know brother ed will mention um brother ed will mention that you know again once you step outside in this physical world you know everything begins to shift and again you know we've noticed a lot of what you say a lot of uh military activity or a lot of shifts within the the upper uh, atmosphere because again there are um beings coming in and out of those portals in the sky you know either on the ground or in the sky but these portals that link um to different um dimensional spaces or extended spaces beyond our space right now that's why i've said before i live in area 51 and i know there's a portal there's, there's many portals out here in, in las vegas because again you know it's just a lot of phenomenon out here that can't be explained by modern um theories by theories in general but again you know when you begin to really tap into you know and you begin to see things what they really are then it begins to make more sense you know again we are supernatural or these extended activated beings you know they, they call this special like brother f um f was saying but special ultimately means you know it's it's super so super or hyper hyperactive or again super or uh, would you say ordinary you know because again you know we are what you say different from a lot of these people and we've seen it you know even when we were growing up you know we we were we stood out our energy in general so um brother uh cosmo you want to add yeah peace power and soul family um i was saying i was going to say uh with the special when brother f1 used uh brought up the special word i remember in school you know how you know that's that goes back to saying when you made that um podcast about pointing out when people point us out because they've been pointing us out since we were younger but they didn't know what they felt you know what i mean and we were still i say uh going about what we were in tune with um so we know we we knew uh we knew like you know being curious i feel like you know that something is there you know what i mean like you know there's more than what's being presented so you're always looking for more type shit i guess so um we're saying that basically um, you know, with, with us, our energy synchronizing our uh, our minds and our uh, our soul synchronizing. You know, we all we all uh, came to an understanding of accepting and letting go of certain ideas, uh, letting go of everything eventually, and to continue to uh, be formless. So, I just want to come over here and say, you know, definitely moving on and letting go is a process that you know us omni beings uh, we do overstand, and it, it is it is a must. You know what I mean? Not to stay just in one way or one level, you know what I mean? Tapping into the one, but not to be just, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, just capitalize on what you said, because being synchronized, what happens when you get an idea? Break down the word I, that's the individual, D, that's the demented state, and then the uh, the A, what's that? Going back to the one. So when you come up with an idea, Right. The only way that idea is going to move the whole planet forward is going back to the A. I, D, what's the D, the demented state? And then the uh. So the ID, uh, is something when you come up with an idea, like if I got an idea, right, and I'm just using it for myself and I'm not sharing it, then it's just basically an ID. Just like your car, when you pull out your ID, you pull out your ID out your pocket. But what's why is the uh at the end of idea? Because then when you come into a collective and you share your idea, then, then it becomes something. It becomes something more than what you pictured it. So then you share it with who? The people that you're building with. Dealing with the ideas and going back to the uh, the topic. Synchronized intel. Right. Synchronicity. Being what? Same frequency, same tone, same vibration. When you're dealing with synchronized, remember when you make music, right? If you make, if you make music, what do they call it? They call it a temple. Temple. Now, if somebody came in and your temple's at, uh, 
your temple's at uh, 92, right? Somebody comes in on your track and starts singing or rapping at tempo 100 and, 103. Now, would that song make sense? Would that song be in tune? Would that song be synchronized? It would be all, it, it would be, uh, unintuned and it won't be synchronized because the tempo of that person that's on your track or your song or whatever you're doing, if you're playing a piano, you're doing orchestra, whatever, jazz, hip hop, doesn't matter. That's a tempo. It's a tempo. Everybody has to be. And what does the word tempo mean? When you're dealing with your individuality, your body, your temple, your mind, temple, your mind, yeah, yeah. your mind <laughs> it deals with your mind. So that's that's why when you're dealing with synchronized, everything has to be when you're dealing with the orchestra and you got that guy up there holding the stick. And, you know, that's a one. You're the conductor. You know that's a one. The conductor. Yeah, the conductor. He's holding the, the stick. Everybody has to be. You know why? Right. You know why he's up there? Because he understands collectivism. He understands that he understands if the trumpet gets off, I got to get the trumpet back on 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 tempo. If if on harmony. If yeah. if and if the trombone gets off, I got to get the trombone back on harmony. Being on a synchronized frequency, everybody on the same accord, thinking the same way. Moving on each other's ideas and building. Look at the, look at the, look at the, um, the so-called African American race right now. If you go on TikTok, Instagram, any social media website, there's no, there's no synchronicity. They're everywhere. That is straight facts. I'm just going to say that word. I don't even like using that word, but I'm using it today. They're everywhere. Go. When everybody leaves this broadcast, Whoever listens to this, even if you listen to it on a broadcast or if you listen to it on YouTube, if you listen to it on Facebook, if you listen to it on Instagram, soon as this is over with, go on every social media website and see how they are everywhere. They're scattered. They're scattered. There's no there's no power in being scattered over here. Individuality over here. Individuality over here. Individuality. And the sad part is, is when you're dealing with, when you're dealing with, I'm not even talking about religion people no more. We pass religion. Done with that. But when you're talking about woke and conscious people, they try to take everything and use it for their own mental medication. And as time goes on, they figuring out that when they get older, when they get older and they like 70, 80 years old, 90 years old, and then especially hearing these videos, they're going to really realize that their mind was everywhere. They couldn't stay focused on the one laser focus, having a tempo, being connected, being connected with people on their same mind frame. Right. To move shit forward. I'm not talking about being on the same mind frame, dealing with, you know, everyday dumb shit that don't even matter. Like. Go, go on TikTok, go on Instagram, they're everywhere. The sad part is, see, this is the thing about money. Money and strength. Money and strength is not, is that's, that never works. It never works. Go back and look at, um, um, what, what was that, uh, Black Wall Street. When Black Wall Street got bombed down there in, um, in the South. Right. Everybody was focused on money, 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 money. Oh, if we get this money, if we start our own black Wall Street, everything will be fine. No, it's never been about that. It's never been about money. Yeah. Money can make you comfortable and make your next day be comfortable dealing with what present. Right. Dealing with the present stimulation, being present, presently stimulated. But when it comes to the future of moving a whole generation of people forward, it's never going to work. Nope, it's not going to work because, again, when, when, when people are still, you know, caught up in, again, you know, the minuscule things that we've have long shed, just such as their pride and ego, such as, again, a lot of the uh, limiting, uh, what you say, 
things such as, like I said, limited thinking, limited values and all that stuff that, again, would stop you from being able to open up yourself to, again, extract and pull this intelligence from the next dimensions by way of our magnetism. Again, us being able to utilize the uh, magnetism within ourselves, ultimately, again, you know, being able to extract, you know, what's really important, which is, again, you know, our future, you know, us being able to, you know, again, see this. You know more and more each day that that's why i was talking to brother uh cosmo earlier and he asked me a question i told him ultimately it was basically you know being persistent and again um being self-disciplined ultimately is going to get you to you know begin to revamp your mind even further and come into synchronized intelligence because the more that we keep on doing this the more and man this this is a fire fire live so far you know so moving forward again you know our synchronized intelligence is only going to you know inspire others on the planet go ahead brother go ahead yeah, shout out to the brother Cosmos because, you know, just dealing with just dealing with us three that's on this live right now, that's power. That's not that doesn't power. deal with strength. That's power because we're tap we're tapped into a frequency. Right? We're tapped into a frequency. We're tapped into the tempo. We're tapping it. if if Zareus is on tempo eleven eleven, I mean not eleven eleven, I'm sorry, I'm I'm talking about studio uh temples. If he's at a temple um a hundred 111 and it's going t -t 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 we're automatically going to tap into that temple and then we're going to figure out that temple and then we're going to move shit forward because then you know if cosmos is on the temple t -t 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 -t, he comes with an id uh because you got your id that's why everything dealing with these words man you got the webster dictionary and then you have the stealth the stealth code of these words, the ones that these Greco-Roman priests been. That's why I, I always say this. I said this in the last live. I said when they, when you're around these people that got money, that been you know studying these secret books, and they, you know all of a sudden they just start laughing around you and shit because they'll say a word like. I think you muted your uh, yo your mic muted by the uh, AF horn. Go ahead. They'll say then they'll start laughing because they know the stealth definition of the word. You know what I'm saying? Go back to these secret organizations where they got secret handshakes, secret words, secret. This ain't nothing new, man. Now that we back from the future, we putting everything on the forefront. You, the age of Aquarius is coming in. And then when it gets here fully, there's no, everything's going to be going to be put on the damn table. You know what I'm saying? Everything. The dog, you won't even be able to throw no food under the table and feed the dog secretly. That dog's going to have to be sitting on that damn seat. That's how real this gets. So going back to um, the topic, synchronized intel, the tempo, the tempo. What is your tempo? Your body. What's the top? Your mind. Going back to the Egyptians. When they made the pyramids, because they already knew that everything that they did from the foundation pointed up to what? The one. Yep, the one. The one frequency. You know, we talked about that in, you know, our previous live called the one frequency. Us being on one accord. Us, again, talking about that exponential growth, 11,111 to the 111 power. Again, 11,111 to the 111 power. That power, that exponent meaning exponential growth as other ones come together and can come together under the synchronized intelligence. And after we begin to extend further and further beyond with that exponential growth, it's only going to empower more and more of what you say of, of activated ones here in this time right now because again a lot of people again can't recognize what we're saying because it's the future a lot of people are still accustomed to past and present oh the ancestors slavery tarot cards voodoo all all of that shit that again that is irrelevant and null and void and obsolete in the fourth dimension all the way all the way past like again like that's that's just again stagnant that's why again you know i, I made a podcast talking about the uh, all-seeing eye we are the all-seeing eye ultimately the all-seeing intelligence from the fourth dimension again bringing forth judgment bringing forth this uh, correction again that's core again that that soul uh, growth and action that that core growth and action our, us being able to grow and evolve by way of the energy our energy ultimately is growing us and basically evolving us into a next dimensional state again the council counseling bringing forth this uh this correctional intelligence by way of again what we're pulling in and, and these times ultimately it is about the involvement it's about the solar extension 
um, again, of these souls here, again, that are calling themselves um, 200 Rising. You know, we call ourselves 200 Rising because, again, that's what we're doing. We are not declining. We're not dimensioning. We're not slowing anything down. We are speeding things up because that's what had to happen. And the fact that we are synchronized by way of, in, by, by way of the intel is ultimately making things go faster. Yep. I'm going to hit on speeding up before I forget. Yeah, speed, everything's speeding up. And I'm going to use this as an example because it's really popular right now. And we don't do this shit for views. We do this, we do this for the ones. But I'm going to go up. Everything's speeding up. Go back. I'm going to use this as an example. Go back to Biggie and Pac. Biggie and Tupac. When Biggie and Tupac got killed, right, it was a big thing. It was a big thing. They got killed. It was like people were actually just like, you know, crying and stuff like that. Didn't even know him personally. You just know him off his songs and what on and the mission that he chose to do on the planet, right? And I'm using this as an example. Everything's speeding up. Now go back for the last after Biggie and Pop died. Go back to the last what eleven years? How many rappers have died since that last last eleven years? That'll be some homework. That's some homework for uh the people that's out there. Go. The past 11 years, Google it and see how many rappers died. That's speeding up because everything is speeding up. Wherever your mindset's at, wherever you think it, whatever your mindset's at, it's going to speed up and it's going whatever, where, wherever your mind is focused on, it's going to speed up because we're moving into the age of Aquarius and everything's going to start speeding up. The planet's rotating faster. The sun's getting hotter, right? Everything that's even flying through the solar system. Um, what they call those, uh, 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 meteorites and comets and shit. That shit's speeding up. Everything's speeding up. So why do you say that AF1? Because our minds are speeding up because we're tapped in. We're activated. So our minds is speeding up. So when you're dealing with, when you're dealing with philosophers, um, scientists, you're dealing with, um, um, professors, all that stuff, they come over here and they, they gonna get bodied. There's nothing that, there is nothing nobody on this planet can do about it. It's gonna happen. This already played out into the future. This already happened. So that's why we, be, that's why we always say that. We always say that, man, this stuff already happened, man. We know I've saw the future. Should I say it on the internet for what? Doesn't matter if you're not over here. You ain't sitting in on the council seats. Your name ain't on that table. Why should we be worried about that? Especially when you hear the message. You hear the message, you might as well just go ahead, live your regular life, and, and you know, live your regular woke and conscious life, and just go about that. Because every time, this is how serious this gets. Every time you take our intel and you try to mix it into your gumbo pot, I guarantee there's going to be something that happens. Manipulating and controlling the atoms, the electrodes, the electrons, manipulating and controlling plasma, right? Water, rays, rays, DNA activation, junk DNA activation. So everybody has a choice. Everybody has a choice to do what they want to do. That's why one of the reasons why a lot of us was born in America is because, you know, it, I ain't even finna go into all that. No, that's for the future terrorists. I'm gonna leave that for the future terrorists, man. I ain't even finna go off on that, but you know what I'm saying? Going back to the topic, synchronized intel, being on that same tempo, that same tone, that same tempo, that same melody. Keep moving stuff forward. Coming up with new ideas. The ID, that's you. The us, the A, going back to the one. That's what ideas mean. And people going to go on Google and be like, oh, what is this? They, they ain't going to see it. How are you going to go Google something from the future? Well, actually, it's not from the future. I'm not going to no, know that. Actually, it's the stuff that the, these Greco-Roman priests, they actually... Did all this stuff in codes. The codes are being unlocked. That's why I said, man, um, um, dealing with uh, the age of Aquarius, everything's going to be unlocked and we're just going to keep moving forward.
Yep, we're going to keep moving forward. And again, we're going to keep uh, traversing and again, pushing our minds to the limit. You know, like I said, there is no limit. So that means our minds are going to keep continuously channeling and keep on extracting and pulling what's next from these uh, upper dimensional spaces. But ultimately, within time, you know, ultimately what, what has to what it has to pull in to shift the planet for it. So our seeking our intelligence has ultimately brought us here, you know, us again being uh, vibrating on a frequency that one frequency that we talked about has has ultimately um it's ultimately brought us here together and basically allowed us to what you say extend further by way of again us being able to be synchronized and again you know bringing forth again these next ideas and next focuses um again so this is the next group of radio show and, and this intelligence is brought to you by our higher selves set in the upper dimensions as activated of uh, as the activated solar council um again bringing forth this correction bringing forth again you know alignment of energy by way of putting the president in a past world on pause. And, and we've been doing that, you know, by doing these lies and bringing forth reality. Reality says has has the word real in it. So it is real. Reality is real. People who want to live in, you know, illusion, you know, that that's okay. You know, they can live in illusion. They can live in, you know, this so-called land of la la, but ultimately we're focused on again being able to evolve next now into again this hyperactivated state of energy, being energy going beyond the earth realms. Go ahead, brother F1. Yeah, I'm just going back, and it's so funny. When you listen to these teachers out here, I don't care what teacher it is. It could be the top teacher, you know, but shout out. See, people get us, people get us, get us twisted sometimes when we talk about the old teachers like Dr. Sabi, um, um, no, I forgot his name. The whole point I'm making is they serve their purpose. All the old teachers serve their purpose already because there is nothing else. They served their purpose. They came, they did what they had to do, and they served their purpose for what? That's why I always tell people when you're dealing with the ancestors, you're dealing with the Olmecs, you're dealing with the Aztecs, you're dealing with the um, uh, the Incas, you're dealing with uh, Egypt, you're dealing with all. They left a foundation for the future. They didn't leave a foundation to go back and, and do what they did. That's why when people represent, when people wear the unk or they wear, you know, the, um, the pinot gland, that's all fine and dandy. But what's next after that? Really think about that for a minute. What's next after that? That's all fine and dandy. But they left the foundation to get back to the one. Look at the Egyptian pyramids. What is that? Four foundation, four foundation points pointing up to where? The one. They were trying to tap into the 14th dimension because they knew that this, they knew that this, um, universe was, was 13 dimensions. They knew that they, they knew, they knew that their ascendants were in the 13th dimension and pulling from the 14th dimension. That's why the pyramids are shaped like that because they were trying to pull in from the 14th dimension. That's being groomed and built right now. Going into the age of Aquarius, the 14th dimension will be complete. And then, you're going to really start seeing the mega super shift on the planet. Yep. Again, uh, go ahead, brother uh, Cosmo. You want to add? Yeah, I just wanted to say basically. So I remember on one of the podcasts, brother F one was talking about light, light years or something like that. And that got me like, okay, you know, these people, they show movies and stuff, light years. And when you say light years then light years is in the future, pretty much dealing with light and saying we don't, you know, having to do, we the only people that can, we the only beings really that can tap into that, not even light, but the source where, where, um, where those rays really, uh, stem from. It's like, what, what I'm trying to say is what light years, light years really t- tells you basically you're in the future. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, that's all I have to say, basically. Yep, that's great. You know, great, great uh, add on with that because as far as like what he said before, uh, you know, ultimately with that, uh, the light being the artificial to what the radiance is. Radiance is what uh sound and energy moves off of because you can, you know, sound radiates, energy radiates, light radiates. But, you know, when it comes to the source of all the light, it, it's the, what you say, the soul, that energy, that radiance, that the rays coming down here that are extending our mind, bodies and souls into a uh more clear and more, uh would say, next dimensional way of thinking, seeing and ultimately, you know, as we move forward, you know, living outside of this uh so-called uh 
3D algorithm called the matrix and you know whatever you want to call this place but this place is not where we're going to end up and keep you know looping back in here because our souls have broken that, that barrier again our souls that have came back from the future have activated us for it and we began to break the fabric of a 3D algorithm and be able to overwrite it with the fourth uh, fourth format or that fourth format of once walking once walking once or 11 11 being the fourth so again as we begin to access more and more intel by way of again our dna being able to shift to dea and the cell being able to register us as these activated beings we begin to sit on our our seats as sort of activated council so go ahead brother everyone that's going to be next that's going to be next but see that's why we put all these videos out like this you know what i'm saying that's why we get in the archives and, and ready because there's going to be some producer or somebody that's going to try to make a movie off of this stuff it's, it's going to happen right it's, it's going to happen see dealing with dealing with the stuff that we coming out with it's going to be some producer or somebody's going to get the little itch they're going to be scratching their neck they're going to be like i'm going to make a movie about that and then we're going to assume that we're going to win everything just like the sister did in the matrix well the gray sister she was a um she was a hybrid but that shit don't even matter messing with mind power. Either you over here or you're not. But see, even dealing with that shit, because when you're dealing with the shit that we coming out with, you're going to see you're going to see producers and stuff and stuff try to make movies off the stuff that we came out of all our videos and stuff. It's not going to go good for them, man. How's it going to go good when we're in the future? It's not going to go good, man. But see, you know, just just dealing with. um Oh, going back, going back to um I was going to say something about teachers. And um, like even just dealing with teachers, notice that the teachers always stay on physical. They stay on physical stuff. All these teachers, I don't care who they are. They could be in New York. They could be in Chicago. They could be in Los Angeles. They could be across the world. It doesn't matter. They always go back to physical stuff. And, it's, and the point that I'm making is because we, we focus on the future, going back to the electrodes and the electrons, the electricity, right? Dealing with Wi-Fi. Can you see Wi-Fi? You can't see Wi-Fi. It's there, though. See, dealing with the scene. I'm going to do a video, too. The scene and unseen. Zareas and Cosmos. I was going. I'm doing that video, too. The scene and the unseen. But see, you can't see Wi-Fi. But is, is that wireless? Yeah, you can't see cell phone. You can't see you can't see cell phone um, frequency waves. Can you feel them? Yeah, you can feel them. You know, they out there dealing with Ray. What's that? The rock. The radiation. The radiance. Break it down. Yeah, radiant. Break it down the word radio. I'm gonna break this down one more time for everybody. Ray, what is ray? The ra. What is the D? The dimensions. What is the I? The one. What is the zero at the end? To keep the one in that zero. So that's why they push the radio is because they want you to keep it a zero. They want you to keep that, uh, that, uh, that hamster wheel. What's the hamster wheel? AF1. The hamster wheel is the library where the lies are buried. Google, Siri, and Alexa. That's why when you got the radio frequency, Ra, the rays, what does that mean? Blocking you from the rays from what? The sun. What does the sun do? It shoots out intel. Blocking you from the sun. Why? So you don't get to where? The upper dimensions. So what happens when you block that? You turn into a one. So what do they have to do? They got to keep pushing that radio frequency so you remain a zero. And that's what the word radio means. And you can't Google that. Nope. Because again, they, they always wanted us to be in that reprobate mind or be in that stagnant mind, that stagnant way of thinking and not being able to again move past this society, move past this system. That's why we have again traversed, um, our ways of thinking or we have been able to extend our ways of thinking outside of the humanities, the humanitarianism, all of that, that again is religion, science, again, social studies, Social, uh, observations, you know, again, you know, we're, we're moving past that because again, we're in the highest dimensions, again, pulling in the highest intelligence, you know, as of what we know right now, pretty much, <laughs> because there's so much coming, you know, that again, we've yet to even put out yet. And again, you know, how to put it out here 
is ultimately even more of a, you know, it's more fun for us having to do what we do because we can, what you say, organize, not organize, but, you know, prestigiously or precisely put out these videos and these, and these broadcasts, these lives, because everything is aligning up perfectly, perfectly and purposely as we, we um, begin to extend by way of synchronized intel. So again, this, the synchronized intel has brought us even further and further, uh, um, would you say moving uh, past this uh, world because again you know more that we come together we're going to see that there's nobody else to come to but our ones but, but but other ones our brothers our sisters ultimately come together and again moving forward or create something next to even push us further away from the past because again we're not operating on the past and present frequencies we're operating on future the future is go 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 and that's it going and going and extending mind body and soul forward always evolving and that's it Yeah, I'm sorry, you go, go ahead. Hey, Cosmos, Cosmos, go okay. ahead, go yeah. ahead. I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been babbling for a minute. Just go ahead. <laughs> nah, you good? Okay, I wanted to say, even okay, having to do with you know DC Comics and shit. You know, not to go back in the past, but what is here? I was saying Justice League. They represent the ones walk with the ones. If at one point, uh, Batman, uh, he was like, I work alone. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, but eventually he came to the point where he had to uh, work with other intelligent people. I think he only said, I work alone because he probably was tired of, he, he had no one to work with. You know what I'm saying? That was on that intelligent level enough to get things done further or, I don't know, coming up oh. to different um, alignments where, you know, eventually he had to start working together. But, you know, you know what I mean? But that's, that's all I want to come here and say. Like, even Batman is like, you know, okay, come, you got to come together. You know what I'm saying? Like, for a greater purpose or, you know, we don't just wield this type of uh, awareness or type of shit. I don't know for no reason. So that's all I have to say. That's right. Go ahead, brother. One. Okay. Uh, but so yeah. Furthermore, uh, you know, knowing when uh, and building on what brother Cosmo said, yeah, you know, when it, when again, you know, you have uh, certain people or so certain ones that have gotten accustomed to and they got comfortable, you know, being on that individual egotistical frequency and mindset to where again they were just so hell bent on manipulating zeros. They're they're still hell bent on being up to ten and not coming together as an eleven, being ones working with ones, working with ones, working with ones. They'd rather be, you know, again. Uh, troublesome and again being of a demented frequency slowing down the evolution of the planet and again of those ones that are supposed to be coming over here because there's a fight there's a there's literally a war going on too for us you know us against the, the world it's, it's us three or us other ones here on the planet is it's ones again going against all of these so-called agents agents of the chaos agents of basically uh, disinformation or not obviously disinformation but basically just basically uh, agents of everything agents of they don't want us to extend past this world and again keep on um, bringing forth this evolution because everybody that is of the past and present they want to keep they like being looped they're comfortable being looped back and forth they like routines they like uh what you say having to celebrate the meta. right you know they they love being a part of that meta they they love being a part of the meta because again they've gotten comfortable you know, 20, 30 years doing this shit, you know, it's called, they don't even question, you know, why they do things. So people like us, us being outstanding ones, again, we're outstanding ones, again, looking to the other dimensions. We are the ones holding up this third dimension around, but we are these, we are these outstanding ones, again, bringing for reality. And it's too real for these so-called zeros. It's too real. Yeah, going back to what the brother Cosmos was talking about with Batman. See, the reason why Batman, he can see all this stuff, all this stuff is, um, like I tell everybody, all this stuff is being played out. The reason why Batman, he was like, I can't do it by myself. Everything's speeding up. Everything's speeding up. He was so used to handling everything by itself. He was used to that. But when this stuff starts speeding up and you still there by yourself, with your individual mind frame and then you get desperate then you start looking around and then you you go to your family's house and all your family is arguing doing chaos and confusion then you're going to find out that the Fugitarians was the only way yep Fugitarians UNONC you know us coming together synchronized intelligence we are the only way and again if there are other 
collectives of ones out there coming together, then yeah, we we as a collective of ones, ones walking with ones, are are moving shit forward. Whether we're here in America, whether we're you know in South America or Africa, again, you know, again, we're we're going to come together by way of synergy, and our energy is so powerful that we don't have to be in the same place. But the fact that we are again amplifying activation of energies because we are refracting or re basically reflecting what's happening uh, above in upper dimensions as above so below and we're ultimately being able to transmute new frequencies into again tangible energy by way of again that processing being able to um organically process these, these ray codes and these ray codes being able to again give us the extended clarity to move forward synchronized intel this is brought to you by our higher selves and upper dimensions um as solar activated council as activated ray intelligence as activated ray Ray beings coming down to the planet and causing uh, this activation of shift, spreading um, this called so-called activation. Because again, it's not even called activation at other dimensions. It's all about again that energy is going to keep it going and going and growing and keep evolving into a next state, into a next um, form of intelligence that's way more advanced than what we have been able to pull in right now. So um, again, um, again, this is the next week radio show bringing forth next week ideas, conversations by way of again the council. The Solar Activated Council, shout out to Brother Cosmo, because I'm, I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Because now that we're moving forward as a Solar Activated Council, things will only become more and more easier for us to traverse and, again, bring forth next ideas to extend, you know, again, everyone that is a one who knows that they're a one. Again, if you are one, then why are you around zeros? If you are one, why the hell are you around zeros? Waking you up. Waking them up. Once walking, once walking, once because again we have to keep it. Put your lights is up. Say what? Go ahead, brother. Oh, and I was just saying, put your lights up. Basically, put your uh, antennas higher. Um, basically, you know the song, put your lights up. No, oh, it was yeah. corny, but it's okay. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, ultimately, yeah. Look, put your antennas into the upper and outer dimensions. Put your antennas to the sky and not in these books because, again, these books are the meta. You know, that was the old form of meta before Facebook came out. You know, all of the double O's and, and, and again, those that keep looping you, again, whether it be of the humanitarian, of the humanities and whatnot. So we, we move forward past that and we bring forth next intelligence, next the next clarity of, again, who we are and what our purpose is. Um, being of the uh, activated um, influence, again, we're spreading activation a lot and, again, Teachers are now beginning to talk about activation now because, again, they know that we're bringing forth next intelligence, these next conversations, next to clear ideas to bring forth the uh, rising or the raising of a 200, um, again, activated ones. So, yes, um, if you guys like to add more about the castle, about the F1, add on. Let's go. Well, I'm just going to leave with this. Um, going back uh, to the topic, synchronized intelligence why do you think that these people out here separate the ones that are actually tapping into higher frequencies away from society they do that for a reason and what did they do they put them with other people that's on their frequency this is not nothing new this has been going on for thousands of years who do you think taught them that who do you think taught them how to separate people from certain people to keep their minds moving forward, to move the planet forward? But see, now they on pause. That's why our number is the 1111. Now they on pause. When you tap your phone, when you watch a video, when you go on certain websites, and you see that pause button. That's the future Terrians. because we already put everything in place when we came. Our souls are from the future. Our souls are from the future. This this body right here is a rental car. Right. So killing us doesn't even it doesn't even serve a purpose because we'll be back. It's going to happen. It's going to play out. You might as well just bow down and submit. Because the future is going to move the planet forward, just like we switch Facebook to Meta. Yep. And we're going to keep. Oh, one more thing. One more thing, brother. One more thing, brother. And uh, this to the planet. You can't touch us. Doom, 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 can't touch. Right on. And again, wonderful breakup by 
us vegetarians, um, Brother Cosmo, Brother AF1, and me, Z Reyes, um, our nuclear. Again, moving forward, we're going to keep extending these activational frequencies um, by way of the Nestor Radio Show, by way of Nextel, by way of our um, synchronized intel. Today's topic was synchronized intelligence. So, again, our synchronized intelligence, our synchronized soldiery, our synchronized um, council moving forward is only going to shift the planet. That's the only way by way of counsel. So again, uh, check us out. Uh, check out Brother AF1 on his channel, Futuritarian's Activation Channel on YouTube. Again, Futuritarian's Activation Channel. Uh, check out Brother Cosmo on his YouTube channel, uh, Cosmo Uni um, on Facebook, Cosmo Uni as well. Uh, Brother AF1, A F O N E on um, YouTube, Futuritarian. Um, so again, we are coming to you all as ones, walking from ones, as a solar activated council. Again, as a solar activated council. So again, check us out um, this coming Saturday um, at 6 p.m. 6.30 p.m. PST, 8.30 p.m. CST again, 6.30 p.m. PST, 8.30 p.m. CST. So with that being said, um, this is the next nuclear radio show. Um, until next time, I'm bringing forth next intelligence and again, the next, ne the next conversation and the next focus on ideas. So with that being said, uh, peace, power, soul, and activation. One love.